In this video, having broken the engine, I break the brakes. So yeah, um, I'm trying to distract myself from um, the engine woes by um, fitting new wheel cylinders. These are from Past Parts Limited, pastparts.co.uk. Uh, sell lots of brake stuff, uh, they can reline shoes, very useful people to know, make flexible hoses as well if you're of a mind. But what I don't understand is what actually holds this in place, there are no fixings, because as you can see this is a cylinder that only acts one way. I think it works by applying pressure which then forces the piston back, which then um, operates both shoes. So this needs to be able to slide. But that also means this can't be attached to the car. So I've disconnected the brake feed from that port on the one that's on the car. That's your bleed nipple there. So I'll probably put a bit of copper grease on that because nipples do like to seize. And um, yeah, I'll just need to try and work out how to get it off. Um, I think I'm going to try gentle levering. Well, there we go. I've got these sliding pieces off, but um, they connect like so. And spring spring into each other to lock. Uh, see the little two tabs. So they're off. Only minor violence needed, but there's that. But the wheel cylinder won't pass the drive hub. Um, I think I'm gonna try loosening the back plate, see if that'll give me enough angle to um, get them out, because that's quite annoying. I can't really see a quick way of getting this off. Um, it seems to be all part of the hub. That's rubbish. Right, we've got the shoes back together. My least favourite job. That spring's not quite in the right place. I need to sort that out. Looks like I've got to take the adjuster off entirely because the spring won't go through that gap again. Problem with clearance with this blooming drive hub. So, um, two 11 mils and that should be off in no time. And then I can get the um, shoes back on. Oh, something about drums that, and shoes are always a pain in the ass trying to get these springs back on. It's absolutely horrendous. Ah, uh, that feeling when you've got it all reassembled at last after hours of battling with stupid springs. Only to discover that you've put the wheel cylinder on the wrong way round, so it won't centre up. Ah, uh, this is not going at all well. Um, I've now managed to knacker up the thread on that connector there. Probably because it was going into the wheel cylinder in the wrong place and it felt like the wrong place but muggins here just carried on anyway. Um, so I'm probably going to have to disconnect the pipe up here and go and get another connector put on by a garage because I haven't got any brake pipes there in kit and um, I really can't be asked. Maybe I'll even get a new bit of pipe, but well, that's Cooper Nickel by the look of it, so that's good stuff. But that's why the brakes wouldn't fit, it's because the wheel centre was the wrong way around. <sighs> I've still got another two to go. Blah. After a calamitous few days, uh, I'm back in the garage. Um, Going to get back on the brakes. Uh, I've got a new light switch to fit, um, so that'll get done at some point. Go and put some more penetrating oil on it. Um, you will see a video about distributor problems, I'm still ignoring that for now. Um, I have a vague plan of trying to resurrect the engine in the other in the car, but the weather's gone a bit awful, so that isn't very appealing at the moment. So I thought I'd stick with brakes, because if I get the brakes sorted, I know it's done. So then when I get whatever solution in place for the engine, um, I can be safe in the knowledge but if I get the engine working I can actually drive it so um, there's plenty I can do while I'm stressing about engines. Um, one thing I do have is a bright pipe flaring kit, a really old one. Um, so old I've got the thing stuck already. So look at that. Sykes Pickabant. So we've got all sorts of things in here I'm hoping these are the right size um, brake bike nuts to go in the um, wheel cylinder. So what I need to do is find the old wheel cylinder because I'm going to bugger about with that. But that means putting gloves on. So um, I shall find gloves and get started. Yeah, sadly, that's not the right one. Um, not that you can focus very well because this camera is so rubbish. Come on, focus. There you go. 
So it looks like it's going to go in, but it in fact doesn't. So um, I'm going to have to order up the right size um, connector. So that'll delay things. Right, I'm going to break light switch. Well, at least that one was easy. We've got the um, new switch in place. Jolly good. One small step for this man. I'm simply not up to doing very much work at the moment because I'm full of cold. But um, past parts have sent some new um, brake pipe nuts. And uh, there you go, that's what they look like. Just to replace this damaged one that I completely mangled up. Now the thread is um, utterly knackered. So I'm just going to see if I can screw this into the wheel cylinder. Let's find the right hole. This time, because that was the problem before. I put it in the wrong hole. And don't put it in the wrong hole, it causes upset. I don't know how happy that's going to be. I think I'm going to pull the wheel cylinder off again so we can have a look at this job on the bench. It's okay. I think we're all right. Look, it's got it. Oh, bloody filthy, um, soft focus, bloody pornographic rubbish. Um, but yeah, oh, it's not helped by having my hair caught in it. Ugh. So that's good. That's reassuring. That means I can continue, but I don't think I'm going to bother today. I'm feeling rubbish. Um, so I shall play with this another day when hopefully I'll feel less rubbish. Yeah, I'm still feeling quite awful, but um, I've, I've managed to cut the end of the brake pipe off, so my utterly mangled pipe nut is now free and almost in focus. Come on, focus. There you go. As you can see how mangled that is, and that's all because uh, having the wheel cylinder the wrong way around, that wasn't going in square into the wheel cylinder. So. Here is the old one. Now that's the new one. So effectively, I was trying to screw it in on a very slight angle, which is why it stripped the thread. Thankfully, on the pipe nut rather than on the wheel cylinder. Uh, the, the issue I have is I keep putting things down and losing them. Um, but aside from that, there it is. Uh, I now need to flare this end, but first of all, the new pipe nut needs to go on. So there you go. I just slide that on and oh. It doesn't want to go any further than that, which leaves me with no pipe to flare, so I can't make the connection. So um, there's a, a few kinks in this pipe, which I'm going to try to straighten out, and I might try and use this device to do that. So the pipe's meant to slot in there, and then you screw in a device to flare it at this end. But I'm going to see if I can use this to... Um, straighten that pipe out first. I might try some heat. Now I've got all the um, fluid out of the pipe, because brake fluid is very flammable. Might heat the pipe, and then clamp it in that, see how we do. Right, there's the tool fitted and ready to go. I shall tighten this up with a ratchet spanner. Um, I can't easily do that and hold on to it while holding the camera, so you'll have to bear with me. Brilliant. I have my new flare, although it's not entirely straight, but it is there nonetheless. I've got the nut, so I just need to bend this pipe to get it close to where it needs to be, and we can consider that done. Right, having now got the wheel cylinder refitted in place, and there's the handbrake lever, um, I now need to fit the shoes. And what live and so you'll have to excuse the sniffing, I'm still rather poorly. Um, what makes this difficult is these springs. Um, they're, they're what pull the brake back off again when you take your foot off, or um, handlebars in this case. So um, the problem is this huge ruddy great flange, which is a pain in the backside. And uh, I can't find a way to actually remove it without taking the drive shaft off, which I don't really want to do. Interestingly, the service manual doesn't mention that at all. So unfortunately what i can't do is just pick that up and put it in place on the um, back plate because the springs won't go through that gap there or that completely non-existent gap there so the only option is to um, put the springs to one shoe thread it through and then um, hope for the best and hope you can sort of sort it out and hook it all back up again the other side which is a pain in the backside Oh, these can just sod off. What a stupid bloody design. You've got no access to get at the spring, which keeps falling out. I just can't get it in. 
sod it. The thing to remember with any car project is there are days when it's just no fun at all. And this is one of those. Um, had my battles with the um, brake shoes, can't get them on. Thought I'd have a go at the master cylinder down here. And this isn't fun either. And um, I shall show you why. See, the problem is um, you've got these, just these two bolts that hold the master cylinder in place. Um, but they attach to this bracket. And if whoever made this bracket had used captive nuts, this job would be a piece of cake, but they're not captive. They're free to move, and the thickness of the plate means it's nigh on impossible to get um, a spanner on. So I'm having to use a ratchet, but there's not enough room for a ratchet because the horn's in the way. So now the horn's got to come off, and I've got to try and move all the wiring out of the way. And um, th these nuts are very tight. And they're just soaking in penetrating oil, so that doesn't want to come off. And it all just ends up making you wonder why on earth you bother when you could be sitting in front of the fire with a cup of tea watching the snooker. Bah! Well, that has been a sod of a job. But there you go, that's the master cylinder out. Um, I need to swap over this push rod gubbins to the new one and um, get the reservoir off. I wonder how that fits. Should be fun finding out. Well, I was just wondering what holds the reservoir in place and um, I was horribly tempted to just try smacking it off. But a pair of long nose pliers has pulled this um, little plastic cover off and there's actually a nut in there. Um, see if I can find it. I did have a suitable socket. What have I done with it? There it is. That seems to go on there. Uh, now I need my ratchet. Well, there we go. The cup's off. So I've given that a clean out inside, I'll probably give it another one to be honest, don't want any bits in there at all. So the next thing to do is work out how this gubbins comes off. Ah yes, I can see that there's a circlip in there so I need to get that out. It's not going to make for very exciting viewing. And there we go, I um, managed to get that off so now apart. It's always useful to have proper circlip um, pliers for getting these things out but I managed to do it with normal set you just have to keep your face well away from it and try and cover your hand your spare hand over there to stop it just pinging off into the middle distance but it's off so now I can start building up the new master cylinder I'm very glad I've got this little workbench area in there even if it is covered in tools and crap already well, I've been struggling to fit the um, push rod to the new master cylinder and I couldn't work out what was going wrong. We've got a different internal bore. So um, yeah, that's the end of that. Uh, this isn't going well. So there we go. Um, I'm going to either have to order a different master cylinder or see if I can get an, a different push rod that actually fits in this application. Um, all a bit frustrating and um, seeing as I can't get the drums fitted either, oh sorry the shoes fitted, they're still hanging here while I refuse to have anything to do with them. Um, I can't say this part of the um, build is going particularly well. Um, so I think I'm gonna have a bit of a break, um, edit up this little video that you've just watched and um, yeah, put my thinking cap on. Maybe just have a nice cup of tea and try and feel less ill. That'll be good. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you've got any useful tips for how to sort these sodding breaks out. Feel free to leave comments below. Um, I've got another trip away, so it's going to be a short while until I can crack on with the project. Um, hoping the weather will improve so I can start looking at the engine on the spares car and get that side of things sorted out. But until then, yeah, I shall see you again in a future video. Farewell.